Welcome back, collective, to Truly Divinely Sent. Okay. Sorry I've been out, okay? Not 100%. I've been having um, ascension symptoms. Okay, this is why I have not posted. I'm not 100%, but I have been called to do a reading. Okay, this is a reading of protection. All right. Um, ancestors closest to the sun, please help me channel this message. Please tune into my frequency or allow me to tune into yours. Um, please protect me as I channel through this energy and protect my energy that I do have. Um, please, and thank you. All ancestors closest to the sun, you may remain. All others, you must leave. Okay. So, okay. Again, it took everything I had to get in front of this camera. All right. I haven't sit, sat in my sacred place in three days. About three days. Okay. So, what I, what I got here as a channel message this is regarding someone's sister, okay? You could have possibly put it into a friendship. You could have possibly put it into uh, whatever connection you had um, with your sister, okay? I, I got family alliance that came out in cards here, all right? So it's some sort of family alliance where somebody is feeling left out in the cold. All right, this is the feelings of someone else. But what I got before I even drew any cards is someone's sister could be trying to harm them. All right, and this person could possibly have a lot of tattoos on their fingers, specifically their fingers, okay? Um, this person wears wigs. Um, they have hair loss at the top, baldness at the top, okay? This person, they, they could either love spiders or hate spiders, um, but it's something significant with spiders. This person's name could be Charlotte. Um, their last name could be Webb with two Bs. Um, what I got is that this person may try to get you to go somewhere in a car, to harm you in a car, okay? There's a lot of animosity between someone's sister either it's your sister or it's a sister of someone that you know but there's a lot of animosity here okay there was something specific about spiders in my head okay and a spider card actually came out when i um pulled cards here and the dagger card which is betrayal um before we move forward to the cards i also had uh chasing fred Okay, so there could be somebody in the collective that is still chasing someone whose name is Fred. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, though. It could also be that there is someone in the, in the collective that is chasing Fred off. You are ridding him from your life. And not only that, it could also be that um, Fred could be the lower vibrational self within either a female or a masculine Fred could be that lower vibrational self that you're finally chasing off away from you. But there is a significance in the name Fred, okay? I should have looked it up, but I didn't. I didn't think to look it up. But I'm going to ask you to look up the name Fred and the meaning of the name Fred because I feel like there's some sort of uh, message in that, okay? All right. So now when I asked what was the overall energy of this reading here, we got the yin card, a leg up and never ending story. So we have here that there's a, a divine feminine who has a leg up. All right. This is somebody who's making the uh, uh, needed transitions that they need to make. Um, meanwhile, there is somebody who is tired of hearing about your growth. This is somebody that um, they're, they're just tired of hearing about your growth. They don't want to hear you talk about it no more. This person is kind of disgusted like, oh, this is oh, she always or he always talking about this or he's oh, I got ink all on my hands. Okay, so it's something significant with ink. 
okay very something significant with ink i can't think about it right now though but this person um okay so i just got write it down and it'll last longer so this person doesn't even want you speaking about a, a situation this person is tired of hearing about your growth okay again this is i asked the same thing with these cards here this is relationship and pride so somebody that you are uh close to this could be a family member or this could be a family member of someone else all right this person is seeing that they're in their prideful self and they are definitely tired of hearing about your happiness and your growth okay this is somebody that um you could have formed some alliance with that you left this person out in the cold this could be i'm, pu I'm pulling up on um uh, energy of maybe an ex-boyfriend that you were friends with the sister and the sister is feeling left out here okay this is kind of what the energy is giving me so far but this person is very much so in their feelings about the fact that you are elevating here you are um transforming beautifully is what i hear but this person feels left out and they feel robbed robbed okay this person feels like you have went in you stop talking to them. You're now an introvert. I'm getting that you used to be an extrovert. You were possibly the party animal or the life of the party is what I'm getting here. Um, but this person is seeing that you have changed. This person, um, you're not as talkative as you as you usually are with this person. This is the energy that is given. We got trumpet here that showed up in reverse. Um forgot what trumpet was hold on please bear with me okay i had to pull myself together to come and sit here and do this read okay so trumpet in reverse okay so that's spiritual vibrations communication with the departed and an awakening here okay and it showed up in reverse so there is somebody who does not want you with this dagger here to be going through some sort of spiritual vibrations or some sort of spiritual awakening here this person is definitely trying to weave something together this person is trying to um make sure that they uh cut you down Pretty much this person wants to cut down your transformation the frog stands for transformation here okay so this person does not like hearing about the fact that you are progressing but what's worse is that you're progressing without them and without the friendship so there is somebody here who recently let go of a friendship ancestors is saying to protect yourself okay i'm getting that you know this person well enough and you trust this person well enough to get in the car with them and it would be like some type of friendly thing but then this person all right oh wow i'm getting that this person will drug you okay even if it's your own sister um even if it's the sister of this person that you used to date this person will drug you okay this person is definitely trying to cause you um some sort of harm okay this is the energy that is giving i'm getting suffocation here okay this is the energy that is giving um we got the lovers that's showing up in reverse here lovers does not always have to be um someone that you're romantically involved with lovers is also family the family card okay and we have lovers in reverse here discord and we also have the five of matches here and this is conflicts all right this is rivalry so you have some sort of rivalry that you're going through with someone's sister either it's your own sister or this is some, a sister of someone else okay there is some sort of rivalry here we got distrust with the two of cups in reverse here this is somebody that you can no longer trust but this is somebody who you've once trusted okay this is the energy that is giving once you reach self-fulfillment here with the nine of buttons this person in your new beginning here this person was no longer a this person here is no longer able to be trusted this is the energy that is giving i'm getting that um yeah it, it's not a good energy that i'm getting off of this is a lot of envy a lot of jealousy here this person is feeling like everything always works out for you um, this person is also feeling like um, they could possibly be doing some sort of 
magic. This person could possibly be doing some sort of magic, but it looks like it's going to be some sort of peaceful outcome. Yeah, cauldron. This person is doing some sort of magic on your light, okay? The light that you carry, this person, this person is looking through a book or they heard to look in a certain book, all right? I'm getting that they got this information from someone that's older, Okay, this is the energy that is giving. Someone definitely is trying to, there is going to be a peaceful outcome for you, but you must be mindful that there is somebody here that is trying to play in your energy because they are um, fully invested um, because they feel like it's you that always get something here. Okay, with ear and book, um, this person it has listened to someone tell them what to do as far as some sort of spell book, okay? Um, I'm getting it's an old spell book. It was something from someone's grandmother um, that was given. She, she uh, lent this book to whoever this person is that knows you. Okay. This is the energy that is given here. Let me get a little bit more. So just give me more on the situation. Give me more. Okay, so I'm getting Christina Aguilera, Aguilera, Genie in a Bottle. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm getting that you are growing into some sort of genie in a bottle you're starting to be very much so admired and you're one that everybody wants everybody wants to come and rub and see what they can get out of you this is the energy that is given here we got friendship here give me more with this friendship everybody wants to be your friend is what i'm hearing people that didn't want to be your friend before wants to be your friend give me more okay we got relaxation Okay, ancestors are saying all of these people trying to come and be your friend now should bother you. You should not be comfortable with this, okay? This is a dead giveaway is what I'm hearing here. This is a dead giveaway. This is somebody who's trying to partner and buddy-buddy up with you uh, for the sake of some type of come up here. But there's also somebody that's trying to buddy-buddy up with you so that you don't get to where you're supposed to be. This is somebody who wants to... Um, basically uh, in life for you. This is the energy that is given. Stubbornness came out sideways. So this is somebody that is not even, you can't even approach this person and talk to this person. You could be seeing the number 77 often, okay? Or it could have seen it in the last uh, few days here. I'm getting that there's somebody else in this energy as well that's been going through spiritual um, ascension uh, symptoms as well. All right, this is the energy that is given. Give me more. Give me more. You could be sick right now, okay? Not feeling too well. We got right, okay? And some of it could possibly be because of this spell here that somebody's trying to put on you. But ancestors are saying that they have your back here. I'm getting the number 606. Ancestors are saying look up the number 606. Um, this is... Um, the ancestors basically saying that they're right there, okay? Look up the number 606. This is, you may be feeling like somebody may have some sort of stronghold over you, but this is um, something that uh, the ancestors is taking care of this. I'm getting because you may have been in some sort of a weakened state by going through your spiritual ascension. I'm also getting that the ancestors is not gonna let anything happen to you during your, uh, while you're ascending here. Okay, so they very much so have you um, protected. But look up, look up the number 606 is what I'm getting here. Give me more. Okay, negative energy. Negative energy. Okay, so I'm getting that this person is definitely working hard at trying to keep you um, where you are. But you definitely have you have a leg up in this situation. We got sweetheart. Somebody's definitely trying to butter you up, okay? 
This person is merit making, all right? So these are people that's trying to get on your good side. This could be somebody that's trying to get on your good side or people that's trying to get on your good side here, okay? Again, you should be very, very uncomfortable, not calm and not relaxed when it comes to all of these people now trying to be in your face and in your space here, okay? I'm getting that, um, ancestors, please help me. I'm getting that, um, yeah, these people are definitely trying to, uh, they're, they're, they have a mask on, all right? This person, they're, it's going to be unnatural. Whatever this person is doing is going to be very unnatural. It's going to be like, this person is trying a little bit too hard with overload here. You're, you're going to be exhausted. I just heard you're going to be exhausted with, with this. You're going to be very exhausted because you're going to be looking at people like, if you don't get out of my face, if you please, if you don't please get out of my face, this is, this is the energy that is given. This is going to exhaust you, but it's also going to create some sort of natural disaster if you do this. So be very mindful of how you dismiss these people. These people are already in their feelings about where you're going and, and how far you're going and the fact that you are one of the chosen. So these people are very easily... Um, set off these these people are easily tempered here we got collaboration these people is uh, wow it looks like four people here who wants to collaborate with you um i have to throw up right now so you could possibly feel like you have to throw up um you could possibly be feeling um nervousness in your stomach um what is these feelings here you should be worried about this collaboration. What is this What is this feeling of sickness I'm getting, ancestors? And it went away quickly. What is this feeling of sickness? So it was regarding whoever it is that's trying to collaborate with you, all right? There is somebody who's trying to collaborate with you that is doing no good for you, okay? This person is, is bringing some sort of... I, I, I don't want to say sickness, but this person is, is not... A good person that should be collaborating with you okay origin in reverse okay ancestors are saying this is not the time for you to begin some sort of new cycle with this person or with these people that's trying to collaborate with you it's not the right time okay ancestors are also saying handle these people with uh gloves all right handle these people with gloves here this, this person is wearing gloves here Okay, um, give me more. You are showing up as the high priestess here. In my other set of cards that I'm looking at, you're showing up as the high priestess. But um, there's somebody that's in balance about that energy though. Okay, this came out sideways. Real estate came out sideways. So this is like a wealthy uh, a wealthy card it also could be investment somebody could feel like they're losing some sort of investment or somebody wants to um, invest in you or with you is the energy that i'm getting here so this is somebody who these people already know that you're not going to work with them for some um, i am getting for some you are you have already put an end to this and this is the reason why these people want you to get in that car for one last time because you're you're not in that energy and in that space anymore. Ancestors are saying, stay out the car. All right, this is the energy that is giving. Whoever is trying to get you to go somewhere with them, they're trying very hard. Like this person is, um, they're really trying, you would know if this is for you. This person is trying to get you to go somewhere with them, okay? There will be some sort of drinks exchanged in that car. This person possibly wants you to go and have a drink um, somewhere, maybe at the water or, or somewhere. But the whole thing is, is it, ta it takes place in a car here. Okay, this is the energy. This is, I'm not seeing anybody get out of the car. I'm, I'm seeing everything taking place in a car. So um, ancestors are saying, be very cautious of who you get in a car with, okay? Especially this person who felt like they had some sort of alliance with you, a sister or the sister of someone you used to date, okay? Or somebody you view as a sister. We got fright here, okay? We got fright. What is this? And we also got phobia. What is this? 
okay i'm picking up on it's, it's kind of lining up with the spider here so somebody could have a fear of spiders here give me what give me more on this um phobia you could have a you could have some sort of phobia to tight spaces okay this is the energy that i'm getting we got self-love here all right, so somebody else is having some sort of phobia. Somebody feels like life is closing in on them because you are starting to love yourself, okay? Um, this person is feeling like something is closing in on them, like the door is closing for them. Everything is coming out sideways. This person is very nervous. This person is nervous with calm coming out sideways here, okay? Um, this person is, wow, we got luck here. Okay, we got luck here. The amount on this ticket is uh 10 million. What is this? Okay, so we got mask here. So somebody is somebody is pretending. All right, this is somebody pretending to be fortunate. This is somebody pretending to not need you for anything. And this is, you feel as if if you were to go around this person, they only want this, they only want that, they only want this. But this person is coming around you. Like, I don't want your money. I don't need your this. You know, I don't need that from you. I just want your friendship. Like, this is how this person is, is coming towards you. This person is coming to, I want to give you something. Like, this person is is definitely trying to bait you into a situation wearing many faces, okay? You're not going to be able to tell which one this person is actually, you're not going to be able to tell who this person is, okay? This is this person has totally changed from when you guys had some sort of an alliance, all right? This person is now in balance here, very inconsistent when it comes to moves. Very inconsistent. Give me more on this situation. We got memory coming out sideways. What is this memory coming out sideways? Libation. Praying. Give me one more here. Bottom. Fury. Okay, so this person is feeling as if... I don't know. I'm picking up. This person is remembering the fact that you guys went to church together or something like that. Or you got this person to start church, to, to be into the church thing. And now you're not even a church person anymore. This person is mad. This person is upset because they're looking like this clown fool done got me to go to church. And she ain't even into church no more. Like, so this person is kind of furious and they're remembering, they, they kind of feel slighted, okay? This person kind of feels slighted that they would never, ever, this person said that they would never, ever step into a church and you actually got them to, to go to church, maybe once, maybe twice, and this person was going to church, but it seems like you changed your beliefs and this person is furious. Yeah, they feel robbed. Okay, this person is furious here. Oh, they think mad because they, they mad because they walked in a church. I mean, I don't blame them. I don't blame them because I don't believe in churches, kingdom halls, none of that. I believe the temple is here. Okay, the whole the whole body is the temple, but God resides here. Okay, um, we got triumph here. All right, so there's some sort of achievement that somebody is trying to gain. What is somebody trying to gain here? Somebody is trying to achieve something. What is this? What are they trying to achieve? I'm getting a connection. This person wants to achieve some sort of connection. This person wants you to, yeah, they want to put you in a situation where they can manipulate you, where they can control you okay this person like i said they're going to try to drug you you are not going to have control over your own body when this person gets you in that car and gets you to take whatever drink this is this person has spiked whatever this is that they're trying to get you to eat or drink is what i just heard all right so this person is definitely going through the motions and whatever this is that they're doing they got this from a book there's an older person 
that uh, relayed this information to them to read this part of the book and to do whatever part that is, okay? I just heard damnation, all right? So I'm getting that these people that's doing this, even down to the person that actually lent that book out, is going to be um, called to damnation, all right? This is the energy that is given because these people are definitely trying to um, dictate what you do, what your next moves are. Yeah, we got illness here. Again, you could be sick. This person could be trying to make you sick. Okay, trying to stop. Okay, remember I told you I felt some sort of illness here with the collaboration card. Okay, um, my sensory right now is in heightened even though I'm sick. I mean, not sick, but well, you can say sick. All right, um, my sensory is saying that this person is definitely, you could be sick. You could be going through your ascension right now. You could have maybe shared with somebody that uh, you're going through some sort of spiritual ascension as well. Um, and this person is is trying to stop. All right. So I'm, I'm being told uh, to be very cautious of anybody coming to even take care of you. Um, as such as the saying, be very mindful of who you have around you through these times of ascension. Okay. Um, and this is for people who are actually sick right now, going through the ascension. If you are not sick now, you will become sick in this month. Okay. In this month, you will start to experience ascension symptoms. Okay. Um, some of the ascension symptoms that you should be looking for is um, they actually feel like uh, sinus symptoms. Um, your face or your whole head could feel stuffy, but at the same time, runny, okay? Your eyes will be running, your nose will be running, even though you're stuffy, okay? Um, a lot of mucus will be coming out. Um, you could have some things going on with your ears where your ears begin to ache, not the actual ringing. You'll have achy ears, okay? I'm also getting... Um, certain parts of your body will ache as well okay my ascension symptoms only happen overnight okay but i'm still left with the the draining part of it so and, and you will have some sort of a fever as well all right this is the energy that is given um yeah be mindful of drink a lot of water when you start to experience your ascension symptoms Ancestors are saying, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, okay? Again, my um, ascension symptoms, I was very feverish and I felt it coming on. And when I went to bed, I was fine. And when I woke up, it was full blown. And it was full blown that whole day and I was dragging and I was hot and I was stuffy and, and I was achy. And, but the next day it had lifted, okay? That all of the, the extreme of it had lifted the very next day. And the next day I was only left with the runniness of the nose, no fever, um, a little weak, still trying to recover. After you go through ascension symptoms, there will be, there will have to be some sort of recovery. Uh, you will have to go through a moment of recovery because this is basically the changing of your DNA here. I believe I spoke on that in one of my other readings. This is basically your ascend, ascending into another version of you, okay? Um, remember I said Fred, chasing Fred, okay? You could be in the process of chasing your lower vibrational self off. Okay, this is the energy that is given here. All right, give me more. Okay, so we got betrayal and wish come true here. Okay, so remember I said the genie in the bottle. All right. You're the genie in the bottle that, that everybody want to rub. You're the wish come true. But there's somebody who's betraying this 
your your trust here with the seven of swords there's somebody that you know that you were close with that you had some sort of alliance with this person could be in your family this person is definitely trying to betray you because you are getting some sort of a wish come true here excuse me we got the nine of needles okay and then we got the high priestess here so somebody is in despair about your intuition somebody is feeling very hopeless because of where you are because of um the subconscious that you're able to dive into this person has real hate they have real hate in they in their heart because of what it is that you are um embarking on this person is actually wondering why you why you all right this is what i'm hearing why you why not them why you why you okay this is the energy that is given give me more here we got progression planning so somebody is definitely with the two of matches or two of wands somebody's planning something what are they planning self-fulfillment this person is planning some sort of self-fulfillment i'm picking up on this person is definitely trying to steal your gifts as ancestors say protect your gifts all right the ribbon is a gift ancestors are saying protect your gift this is also divine feminine here protect your gift as the divine feminine okay this is the energy i'm sorry i have to blow my nose i am so sorry Bless me, ancestors. Please bless me. Okay. All right. So we got, um, yes, the, these people are planning some sort of, they're trying to steal your gifts. We have resistance here with the hangman showing up in reverse. Okay. Th these people are, I'm seeing that this is you. You're the resistance. You're going to be putting up a lot of resistance. If you get in this car, you're going to be fighting someone, but it's going to be very hard because this person is going to have you um, drugged to where you're feeling ill, okay? This is the energy that is given. Give me more here with this resistance here. Give me more with this resistance. I'm, I'm getting that there's an energy of somebody who's stalling. So this is somebody who's already been... You, you've been invited out with this person. You're stalling right now. This is the energy that is giving here. We got conviction, perseverance. There's somebody who's definitely with this uh, seven of uh, wands here. This person is definitely trying to get you. They're trying to get you to take that step, okay? But ancestors are saying to resist this. If you're resisting this, excuse me, negative energy, you are protecting yourself from this situation okay i'm getting that whatever happens if this uh it looks like some sort of conviction here as well um yeah foresight all right this is not gonna go well because i'm getting that you know this somebody here could possibly call the police um uh, while you know that these people are about to set you up i'm getting that you're going to call the police and have them set up at the time that they're trying to do something to you. I'm getting that there. This might not be for everybody. This part right here. There is somebody, somebody that's already entangled with the police here. And you are already talking to the police about somebody trying to cause harm to you. Okay. Um, and there is some sort of sting that is going to take place here. All right. This is the energy that this is giving. It's already in progress here for some of you. That was specific to someone, okay? You've already started paperwork and all of that. All right, we got recovery. What is this recovery? 
and happiness. All right, so you're going to end out, this is going to end well for you. This is going to be, it's, it's all good for you. This is the energy that is given. Um, you, but you very much so have to be very cautious of these people that you have and that you bring into your space and in your energy here. Um, these people are mad because you're loving yourself. You're having a lot of compassion for yourself here. Um, we got the two of pentacles, the star. The Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Pentacles here. This is somebody who this is somebody who is unbalanced. This this person is unbalanced. You're showing up as the Star Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. And this person is having a hard time juggling this. Okay. This person is having a hard time juggling who you have become. Nine of Pentacles, the Star, and the Wheel of Fortune. You're a very fortunate being, okay? You're the genie in a bottle in this situation. And this person is definitely having a hard time with being left out in the cold, all right? This is the energy that is given here. This person is having a hard time juggling the fact that they are being left out in the cold after you've come up in life here, okay? Wow, we got the Death card and we have the Empress here. All right, these people are definitely trying to call or somebody is definitely trying to cause harm to the empress. All right, you are the empress high priestess showing up here. These people are imbalanced because of your situation here. These people are having a hard time juggling your transformation here. Remember, the frog is transformation. Okay, I'm also getting that these people feel like you're faking the funk here. These people are saying that you're not who you say you are and you don't you don't do this and you don't do that and it's all just a joke and these but these people they believe that you are who you say you are because there's someone who wants to cause an ending for you i believe i said that already there's somebody here that wants to cause some sort of ending for you we got the high priestess with the temperance in reverse okay so like i said somebody is very unbalanced with who you are with the high priestess in the upright and temperance um in reverse all right so these people are uh seeing that you are some sort of an earth angel but they don't want you to be all right this is the energy that is giving judgment is with the judgment is ruling in your favor it also looks like yeah the ancestors are guiding you the ancestors are definitely guiding you through a situation here we got six of wands here of victory there is some some deception here with the seven of swords we have a victory here and we have some deception here. All right. So it looks like there is going to be a lot of angry people with the justice card. There is going to be angry people if there isn't now. OK, about your transition and about everything that you're about. All right. Everything that you're about right now, there is going to be a lot of resistance when it comes to you. All right. Specifically from someone that you had some sort of an alliance, an alliance with. Um, I'm, I'm kind of picking up on heavy sister energy. So, again, it is either your sister or this is a sister of an ex-boyfriend. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting that um, you broke up with him. Why me? Why are you breaking up with me? Like, so this person is taking it personal. That in order for you to cut him off, that you have to cut her off too. And so this person is definitely taking it personal. And this person has um, moved into a place of resentment. Like this person is now resenting um, the situation here. They're resenting that they ever was your friend. Like very nasty energy here. Um, this person is how the, the how hurt they are is you wouldn't even be able to recognize that this person was ever your friend okay give me the energy of this sister all right give me the energy of this sister here okay so this person wants to stay mended with you this person wants some sort of second chance opportunity with you here 
making amends, all right? This person can't understand why you're acting the way that you're acting, why you're breaking up with him, and then you your relationship is changing with her. Give me more. We got one day, okay? We got one day. It's kind of giving obsession here. Okay, so this person is saying, I knew you was going to do this, all right, with finality in one day. This person was like, um, this person is basically saying, I knew that you was going to do this to me. I knew that you was going to do this to me. I knew you was going to leave me behind, man. I knew this. Um, this is the energy that this person is in. This person is very hurt, okay? This person is very hurt. Beauty releasing, Okay, and realization. So this person is coming to some sort of a realization of who you are. And this person is feeling very much so abandoned in this situation here. This person um, is, is having some sort of epiphany that you are releasing them. That you are moving on from them and they feel abandoned. All right, this is the energy. This actually shocks them and that's the problem. Because they never thought that this would happen here. Okay, that is the problem because they never thought that this would happen. Um, we got influences here. Um, this person is basically, again, like I said, this third party here is this person's brother, possibly. Um, yeah, it's a, a third party situation here as, as, as far as the brother is concerned. It's, it's heavy conversation about... I understand that you're not kicking it with my brother no more, but what about us? Like, we ain't best friends no more because of it? Or, you know, this person is having a hard time juggling that, that energy there. Okay? Um, this is the energy that is giving. This is the energy that is giving. Give me some energy on the Divine Feminine. What's the energy of the Divine Feminine here? Energy of the Divine Feminine. You're in a fantasy world here. You're imagining your new life. You're doing things different. You're headed towards the light is what I'm getting. World of the Divine Feminine. We got spying here. You're going to be getting information here. It's possible that you're going, like I said, going through downloads. This is too many. You're going through downloads now. Okay, so you're getting some sort of information here. You're starting. If you're not a seer, I'm getting that you're one of the enhancements. You're going to be a seer here. We got clinging here. Okay, what is this in regards to the, oh, that's another spying card. Okay, give me more on this clinging energy here. Okay, we got bluff, exaggeration. What is this? What is this? Flame and open heart. <sighs> okay, I'm getting when it comes to the divine feminine. I'm getting that there is some of you that are possibly trying too hard is the energy that I'm getting. You're obsessing over one thing, all right? There's an exaggeration here, all right? This is the energy that I'm getting here. This is seeming like, it seems like this has nothing to do with the read at all. This is the energy. This is, somebody is infatuated here over Twin Flame, energy like th this is all you're imagining you're imagining um I'm, I'm getting that in this situation there are some people here that is so stuck on having a twin flame uh type of a situation here that that's all you're thinking about 
okay? Ancestors is saying that you're not getting yourself together specifically just to have a twin flame. That is not the journey, okay? This is the energy here. That's not the journey. And there's somebody here who's very exaggerated when it comes to that. That is the reason why some of you are making some sort of changes here so that a twin flame comes into you. Ancestors are saying that is kind of low, low vibrational energy here. That may be what the chasing Fred is, okay? You need to chase Fred away. The low vibrational energy, you need to chase that away. Um, low vibrational energy, you know low vibrational energy if it's attached to your sacral chakra, okay? So if you are in the horny toe energy, that's low vibrational. If you are in the, oh, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, my boo, my boo, my boo, that's low vibrational energy, okay? Because this is not what you should be waiting on. Your focus should be excelling. Your focus should be um, getting on to the next level here. All right, this is the energy that is that is giving. Um, I just got something with this card, but I lost it. Yeah, there's there's people here who's some of you. This is not for everybody. Some of you is is on the right track, but your mind frame of the whole situation is not there. Okay, some of you are doing it just to get a twin flame connection. And that is not supposed to be the outcome here. This is not the reason for your healing so that a twin flame comes to you, okay? This is the energy that is given here. Wow, that just, that was a spin right there. But that's the energy of the divine feminine, some of the divine feminines in this energy here. And I guess that was the most important that the ancestors wanted me to get out here um it's some people that's living in a fantasy world when it comes to um that twin flame energy um these people are exaggerating things are you really healing is what this energy is giving me um but there is some people here that is moving forward and you are going to be in the seeing type of energy okay so there's people that's going through ascensions right now you are going, if you were just intuitive, you're now going to be stepping into the world of seers, okay? There's uh, others of you who you're kind of like at a stagnant type of energy because you need to clean your energy out, all right? I'm being warned to say that uh, the ones that if you don't experience any ascension symptoms this month, then this may be your part of the reading here where you're on the right track, but you don't have the right mindset, for the situation, for the divine feminine role, okay? And that was just to some of you. I'm going to end out this reading. We got the twins. Self-protection. I'm going to throw that back in because I don't even remember if I... Shuffle these. Okay, what's the lesson here, ancestors? What's the lesson? Thank you for bearing with me through this reading, okay? You guys, it took everything I, I had. It took everything I had to give it. Everything. What's the lesson here? We got the king. Control, reversal of fortune. Dang. We got radical changes with the catalyst. We got cartography. The cartographer is a crossroads. And then we got the sailor with new influences. Okay. At the bottom, we got the wise one here. So this is a lot they want me to read. All right, so what I'm seeing here is there is some people that is taking control of their life here. And if you aren't, you need to be taking control of your life here because there is some sort of radical changes that is taking place here. And there's people that is trying to take radical changes against you. These people are um, trying to work against you and actually take control of your uh, future, take control of what it is that was meant for you, your destiny here, okay? So you're at a crossroads here. 
Um, and it's almost given the energy of, are you going to explore the different roads? Because you already know that there is one particular road that you know you must go. Are you going to explore that other role here, okay? That other role is pertaining to that car drive, all right? You do not want to entertain any car drives. Not not yet. You don't want to, you know, the any, with those people, any of the people that I've, I've kind of mentioned, your sister or the sister of an ex-boyfriend, you do not want to entertain that, okay? The king. We got 40. All right, it says the king is a reminder that taking things for granted can cause irreparable mistakes. All right, so don't take your life for granted here. Now is the ideal time to practice awareness and value the benefits that come from working at a problem. Even if you think you already know the answer. Don't dismiss the wisdom of those who try to show you a new way of working out a, a solution, okay? So ancestors are saying, do not take things for granted here, all right? They need you to actually step up and take control and to be very, very aware of your surroundings at this moment in time because not only is it family or friends that will try to hinder whatever growth or hinder whatever ascension that you have had, um, but there's other people as well. So ancestors are saying to be very mindful of the people that you encounter, the people that you um, allow to allow yourself to give energy to or allow to give energy to you. Ancestors are saying you need to, um, it's almost like a debit card. Um, you, you only give it when the password is put in. Okay, so if you don't feel any energy from these people that is deserving of whatever you have on your uh, debit card, then it's it's not it's it's not accept accessible. All right, this is the energy that is given here. Um, the catalyst twenty eight. Okay, it says life does not exist in a state of stasis. And meaningful development only comes with change. To resist it is to resist growth. You must become the catalyst that shakes the very foundations of life. You are the hurricane that blows the cobwebs. Wow, from the corners. Remember, we was talking about spiders here. Okay, and somebody trying to weave something against you. All right, and control you in some sort of way. You are the bolt of lightning that topples the tower. You may not know what form this change will take, but change has to happen. Through upheaval, chaos, and destruction, you will be able to start anew. Okay? So, this is like hitting on everything, right? This one right here is everything. This one right here is life. All right? So, there is meaningful development um, that has to happen here. Um, not just saying, all right, I'm not going to deal with so-and-so and then end up dealing back with that person. Meaningful development is having to, uh, the ability to make those actual changes that you actually need to make, even if it causes upheaval and chaos. And that is what this situation is going to become. You could be in arguments with these people right now about the fact that you have withdrawn your energy from these people, okay? Um, you're at a time right now, again, um, it's something about spiders here, okay? It's something about spiders. Whatever they tried to weave for you, you were able to blow that right on out the door. Um, it, it was nothing that you even got caught up in, all right? This is the energy that I'm getting from a lot of you. You are the bolt of lightning that topples the tower, okay? Again, genie in the bottle. Like, you are transitioning into such a beautiful thing that is uh, not a lot of people here is going to understand and that they're, you're, they're going to envy whatever progress that you make, all right? So now is the time to be making those definite uh, steps to depart, from a situation here, um, especially if it's to do with a sister, okay? Um, this is the energy that this is giving here. 
there is this is going to be a radical change for you i'm also picking up that you are going to receive a crown uh after this situation is complete all right this is the energy that this is giving the cartographer all right so i'm hearing a airplane sound like one of those old school flimsy ones that only two people can ride in Okay, it sounds like it's one of those airplanes that they be pulling a little sign behind it. Okay, so that's the message here. Okay, you're going to get some sort of crown after you make these final adjustments here. All right, um, it can happen one of two ways. You can get in the car or you could not. All right, um, getting in the car comes with a lot of regrets if you survive it. All right, this is the energy. And I don't mean to um, always have some sort of a negative uh, message to come through. However, what my purpose is to is to help heal people and to bring light to the dark situations that you could possibly be in or that you could be possibly walking yourself into. Okay, so my purpose is to help you see it and guide you away from the situation here, okay? You don't heal people that's already healed. So my messages are not going to be for those that are already healed. My purpose is to lead you out of the dark, okay? So my messages are actual situations that a lot of the collective, a lot of the whole world is going through, okay? You can't, you, you leading somebody out of, out of a healed state is, that's not my job, okay? My job is to lead you out of an injured state, okay? So the majority of my readings are going to have some sort of issue because this is something that you don't see on your own, all right? This is the energy that this is given. Cartographer, 66. It says, you currently find yourself at a crossroad, unsure of which direction to take. Something within you is eager for a new journey, but doubts make you hesitate. Which path will lead you to where you want to go and which will lead you to an unexpected destination or astray? Remember, I said you got two choices. When inner conflict stop, when inner conflict stop you from taking the next step forward, overcome that uncertainty and embody the boldness you need. Okay, so you are at a crossroad here, okay, for pertaining to this message. There is going to be somebody that is trying to get you in a car. This person wants you to go somewhere with them so bad. Even if it's just to, we're going to go shopping or we're going to go to the store or just let's just ride around and talk. Or this person is trying to uh, get you in that car for a specific reason. Okay, this is the energy that this is given. This person has already planned this situation, okay? Now, that is one role for you. The other role is for you to uh, reject this situation here and, and just do away with this whole ordeal here because this person is meaning you no good. They've already talked about this with other people, all right? And that was the collaboration. And the reason why I got so sick off of this collaboration card because there's at least four people that has even sat and talked about this situation they could have uh emailed each other in this situation i'm seeing um maybe two women and two men okay so this is already something that has been collaborated against you all right so you want to be very mindful and explore the road that you know is for you here okay where do the road lead you okay <laughs> which path um, will lead you where you want to go, all right? So that is the road that you want to take, the path that leads you where you want to go. You know where you don't want to go. You know where this person is not taking you, all right? You know that this person is not embodying good energy, all right? So are you going to um, surround yourself with this particular person's energy? Are you going to allow this person to be in your face and in your space when it comes to your energy, okay? I'm also picking up the fact that there is going to be a lot of people who has are going through the ascension right now. Um, you're going to feel 
different when it comes to even talking to low vibrational people, okay? You're not going to be able to handle it. This is the sensitivity of it, okay? You're not going to be able to even handle it. When you get on the phone with somebody and this is a low vibrational person, your body will shut down and immediately switch to low vibes. And it's not going to be a space that's comfortable for you. And it's going to cause you and make you. It's going to make you um, restrain from talking to this person. It's going to make you get off of that phone with that person, okay? It's almost like uh, when I used to be a nurse and there was people who had problems with drinking and there was a pill that they would give the people who had a problem with drinking and it's called anti-something. I forget what it's called. However, if you take a drink with this pill, your body immediately wants to vomit. All right. And, and that was specific, specific for somebody. But that is um, what your ascension is going to cause you to feel like. When you ascend to that place of high vibrations and you get low vibrational uh, particles or people that come within that vibration, it's going to cause your body to feel like you want to puke. OK, or you just ugh, sick. You want to just be out of it and away from it. All right, this is the energy. Uh, these are the changes that you're going to have. You're you're going to be experiencing any, in, these changes. Leave it in the comments if any of you within the last few days have been going through any type of ascension symptoms um, similar to what I've uh, disclosed here. Okay, we got the sailor. One o six. So it says the sailor represents two possibilities. Now, see, we still talking about two choices, basically two possibilities. Okay. The sailor represents two possibilities, the familiar shores of home and the yearning for distant lands. Okay. So are you going to go with what you're, what you're familiar with, or are you going to go with what you have not seen yet? The distant lands, because you already know it the familiarity that you got going on with whoever this person is, is like, dun, 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 dun. Okay. It's like, it doesn't, it's not even good. All right. This is not even good. This is, uh, I'm kind of picking up Scooby and Shaggy energy here. All right. I'm getting that you guys, whoever you guys were, y'all were best book. What is the other boy name in that? Fred? Oh my goodness, stop playing with me. <sighs> All right. All right, I'm sorry. I just got thrown off. But it was given, it's, it's given um, Scooby and Shaggy and I'm looking at people on top of a roof right now. Very skeptical of shit, stuff like that. All right. Um, anyway, it says the sailor represents two possibilities, the familiar shores of home and the yearning for distant lands. You may be craving a change of pace, however big or small, and the current moment might be the perfect one to start fresh. But whatever you do to satisfy your cravings, don't forget the importance of your origins. Okay, so this is basically surrounding a situation as well. Do you want to be influenced by um, those uh, false influences that you used to have around you? Okay, or do you want to be influenced by new influences? Okay, because you can't have both. If you if you have ascended, it's going to be very uncomfortable for you to be around low vibrational people. Okay, if you if you've ascended. Okay, I'm also picking on. There's going to be some moving here. There's going to be um, a lot of people that's going to be moved from a situation. You could be living with somebody. You could be living with this very person. Or you could be living around low vibrational people. There is going to be a shift here. God is going to move you um, into a better space that doesn't affect your high vibrational uh, connection with source. All right. So this is also the energy that I am picking up on here. Um, but there's still a feeling of someone having to make some sort of a choice here uh, because there's somebody that's not completely over a situation for what I'm seeing there. And that's not for everybody. 
negative energy on that okay negative energy on that so whoever you are that is in the mind frame of you're only healing because you, you, you the only thing you can think about is twin flame like I'm healing because my twin flame, my twin flame, my twin flame, my twin flame. I'm healing because my twin flame. No, you should be healing because of you. All right? You should be healing for nobody else but you and for your ascension and for your growth. Okay? This is the energy that is given. All right. The wise one. Fifty-two. I'm struggling to get through this one. I am. 52. All right. Organization and rhythm rules the day. It's time to suppress suppress that creative streak and accept reestablished convention. Take the time to study those who have gone before you. There is plenty to be learned from previous attempts. The greatest knowledge is derived from the experience of those who have done this before. Okay, so I'm kind of picking up on there is somebody that's in your family that, and that's confirmation, there is somebody in your family that knows what you're going through. These people were, felt like they were silenced or they were silenced. Okay, that's this is the energy that I'm getting. These, they're wise ones in your family that don't even want to talk to you about this. Um, if they even know that this is what you're doing, um, and I'm talking about like, uh, if you're moving into the divination side of you, if you're like into tarot, if you're into stones and you're into, uh, healing and, and shamanism and things like that, you have somebody in your family who was basically, they're older, they were shut up back in the day the, the, the you, you know back in the day this was um you couldn't talk about this this is what they tried to kill they tried to kill tarot here okay this is what the me this is where the message is taking me they tried to kill tarot here okay um uh, back in the day and so you had your people who was unable to talk about the situation unable to share their gifts it was almost as if it was stifled out of them they were unable to uh, share who they really were okay they made uh this appear to be evil in all ways shape or form and they even called it witchery okay they called people like me witches all right and they formed some sort of uh i don't know the word but they formed a a, a badness around the whole situation they made it appear evil anywhere that you look tarot and any type of divination appears evil even though divination is all throughout the bible and divination is being done by god's people that's in the bible okay we're talking about moses we're talking about samuel we're talking about eli we're talking about um saul and yeah a few of them lost their gifts along the way but if you read uh first Samuel, or they might that might be in second Samuel. Um, but it's the Samuels, okay? If you read that, Saul even went to uh I forgot what they call it. it well, I don't think it was fortune teller. I forget what they call it, but he went to someone like me to tell him whether or not he was going to um, win the battle with the Philistines, okay? And the person that was able to be conjured up was Samuel, okay? And Samuel was not evil, and neither did the woman that conjured his spirit up. She was not evil either, because God would not have allowed this evil woman to conjure up the spirit of Samuel okay and samuel was a holy man he was a man of god all right and that right there told me that all of god's people are into divination all right and what they're trying to do um in the up and coming future they're going to release a movie i believe it's in may they're going to release a movie called tarot and they're releasing this movie because they are seeing that this 
right here is about to be reawakened, okay? They've kept it hidden. They kept it in the dark. They burned books on it. They did all type of things to keep it closed off, okay? But now that they are seeing that this is coming back alive, that God's chosen ones are awakening to true divinity here. Um, again, like I told you before in my past, I don't even know how I got here. But because I was led here, I know that it's the truth. And once I start reading the Bible with the new set of eyes, I realize, wow, that's what the Bible is talking about. That's all they got going on in the Bible. And all of the people that has that gift was God's people, okay? But um, they're going to release a movie called Tarot, and it's going to put an evil uh, awning around Tarot. So they're trying to reawaken um, how one should feel about Tarot. All of these years, they haven't had just a movie about Tarot. They even named this movie Tarot. OK, so they are about to try to put in place how evil this is because God's people are being awakened to their true self. All right. So make sure you are always in the loop when it comes to your divinity. Don't compromise your divinity for anything here. OK, and always stay true to your beliefs. And this is not only for people who's not, who's into tarot, but this is true to uh, stay true to yourself, even if you're not into tarot, because if you are watching, then you do know that there is some sort of truth to it. If you don't believe me, please read the Samuels in the Bible. Okay, please read the Samuels and read it with the set of eyes that, that you, is meant to be read in. Okay, um, when, when you hear lamps going out, that is the third eye, okay? When you hear about that, that they're speaking of the third, eye, the third eye. When you always hear about uh, God speaking to somebody, God is that is not even in prayer. That is uh, intuitive thought. That is um, communication with the divine that resides within you, okay? If you notice in the Bible and you read it with the correct set of eyes, then you will completely understand that the Bible is surrounding divination, okay? Um, again, you do have somebody, a wise one in your family that um, knows about this, but they're scared to even tell you anything about it because they were, um, somebody was scared to death out of doing this. So they never shared it with you. They never said that they knew how to do anything um, because the, the world, scared them in this situation and so but you do have somebody um, and I think you have some sort of you have some sort of feeling that somebody in your family does this it's that person that you're thinking about is 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 that person okay if you're sitting there like oh my goodness that could be auntie Rhoda or you know what I'm saying it could be such and such That, that is who knows how to do this, okay? This is the energy that is given, all right? And, and I didn't even really mean to say Rhoda, and I had actually forgot that I have an auntie by that name, all right? So that could possibly be, it could have been dropped to me that that particular auntie of mine could very well know something about this. Or could have known something about this. Okay, but there is somebody in your family that definitely has information on divination here. Okay, that was truly divinely sent to someone who needed to hear it. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one.